Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So as I mentioned before, uh, I would like to make an alarm system out of an Arduino and these eBay PIR sensors. I've been playing around with it a few days and it seems like it's it's uh, actually good enough for an alarm system, although I didn't test it uh, for weeks to see that it makes no false triggers. So I guess now it's time to actually hook it up to the Arduino and make some kind of an alarm system. So let me just hook everything up. So that went quite uh, fast. We have the Arduino here and the PIR sensor. I also added a buzzer and an LCD screen. The buzzer here is active, meaning that it beeps if you just give it power. Uh, it can take from three to 24 volts, it says. I tried it with five volts, and even there it's quite loud. Um, so I put some tape over it. So let's see what happens if we power this up. <laughs> Just kidding. So I made this so that it's uh, automatically arming itself because the software is not ready yet. The, the idea is that uh, you have a keypad, of course, and enter the key. This is just for testing purposes. And I'm standing in front of it, so it's going off. Um, the screen doesn't change, but... If I instead point the sensor the other way, you should see it doesn't go off. And then when someone breaks in um, or goes into your whatever, it it trips the alarm. What I'm more interested to see is if this setup works, uh, if I put it here on my table and aim it at the door, if I just uh, walk through the hallway and uh, if, to see if it's able to see me through the door and see this movement. So let's uh, let's give that a try. And this was my setup here, so I just elevated it a bit from the bench uh, on this box and used something heavy to keep it in place. Uh, and there's uh, about three meters from here to the door. Um, so if it's able to pick me up through the door at that distance, it's an uh, acceptable thing. So now we just need to see if, if uh, the PIR sensor would false trigger at this kind of sensitivity level. And speaking of sensitivity, um, these modules have two trim pots where one is labeled uh, SX, this one here, and one TX, this one here. So SX is the sensitivity. Uh, if you turn it all the way down, it basically just triggers all the time. If you turn it up, it never triggers. So somewhere in between there, there's your sweet spot. The TX I just turned all the way down. That is how long the output will be on when it triggers. So this is meant to drive uh, some lighting or something. And it can be on for maybe a minute, but we don't need that. So I think the minimum is two seconds or something. So it just turns on, off, uh, and it's ready to trigger again. So for now, this is just testing, but when we come to the final implementation, obviously the display and the keyboard shouldn't be uh, attached to the device because someone can just uh, smash it and uh, <laughs> take out the battery or whatever, and then it stops uh, making noises. So um, 
it should be hidden somewhere obviously and then the display and the keyboard should just have a wire coming out. We have two options here of course, we can use a, a wired system or we can make it wireless. In the beginning I will uh, make it wired and then uh, if I feel like it maybe try to make it uh, wireless. And also the speaker here, even though it is quite loud I would guess when powered from 24 volts, it uh, wouldn't really be enough to alert anyone and direct attention to the house so that should be upgraded and I already uh, bought like a, a horn uh, beeper thing from eBay. It's this thing here. It says 125 decibels. I'm not sure if that is correct but it is indeed loud as <clears throat> I'll spare you the pain and not turn it on here, but it can actually just be stick directly to a surface because it has this uh, double-sided tape or it can be uh, screwed in place. But that will be the last thing to be hooked up <laughs> for sure. I'm not sure how secure I want it to be. If you just hook these up like they are, um, there's uh, the potential to just like cut the wires here in the correct sequence and this will be uh, defeated. I really doubt anyone would actually do that but it's quite easy to just put a microcontroller on here and instead of that just make it so that some kind of co communication has to be in place for the alarm not to trigger uh, and then either send a, uh, a trigger message or just stop uh, sending messages when there's an actual alarm. It's probably best to send an alarm message because then you can also see the difference between a tamper and alarm. If I come to the conclusion later that this is a system I would actually use, I think I will replace the Arduino here with a Raspberry Pi. Uh, just to have uh, some way of uh, connecting to the internet directly from the device. There's really no point in trying to attach that to an Arduino 8-bit microcontroller when you can just uh, yeah, basically get it for free if you <laughs> pick the Raspberry Pi instead. And then you might say, well, the thief could cut the power to your house so it should be cellular um, but then you might as well just put an, a UPS on the entire uh, system including your internet modem and then the problem should be solved also. Then you don't have to pay um, extra for a uh, cellular connection. Then you might say well they could uh, cut your internet connection, but at least I'm lucky here that it's like digged way down in the ground so then they would have to dig a hole in my yard to cut that. Um, and I'm not that paranoid, uh, not quite to that level. So uh, I think I'll just use it with my uh, Wi-Fi or with a cable and this will be placed uh, in a secret place anyway so that they won't find it. Uh, definitely not before they get into the house. But I will make this Arduino project finished and test it out first so that I build up some experience about what to uh, put in a, a future version. In an upcoming video we'll take a look at the software. There's no real reason to do that now because uh, there's nothing. I just have an empty state machine that's uh, configured with the states that I want. Basically it's uh, in like idle, arming, armed, disarming or alarm. Maybe I forgot something but right now it just boots up into the arming uh, state. I still need to make all the things that handle the keypad and all that but right after editing this video that's uh, something I will look into. 
hopefully in the next video we'll have a somewhat functioning alarm system and then um, we will look at the software. So I hope you like the idea here and if you uh, are interested then I'll see you in the next video. See you.